welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Transport Minister DePoor Peters this week announced that the e-tolling on Gauteng's freeways would start on December 3. Tracy Hancock tells us more. Hi Tracy. Hi Shalom. What reasons did the Minister give for starting the implementation of e-tolling now and not only in 2014? Well the Minister said that the implementation of the e-tolling system was in accordance with the law, namely the Transport Laws and Related Matters Act, and it had nothing to do with the December festive season rash on Gauteng's freeways. She also mentioned that Sanral had to start collecting the toll fees in order to start paying back the debt it incurred to upgrade the Gauteng freeways. Sanral welcomed the Minister's announcement. Um, what was CEO Nazir Ali's response? Ali said that Sanral would now be able to get down to business, build, maintain and improve South Africa's national road network, which was standing at 19,700 kilometres. Um, and he also noted that only 16% of this, 3,120 kilometres, is actually tolled. He also highlighted that 201 kilometres of this was the GFIP. And he expected that the beginning of the collection of the toll fees would go smoothly. Other organisations, including trade unions, political parties and the public, have not responded positively to the announcement. Can you expand on that? Well, the DA's um, Gauteng Premier candidate, Musi Miyamane, had said it, that it was a sad day for South Africa and Gauteng in general because it showed that government had blatantly disregarded the widespread public outcry about the e-tolling system going forward. Alta had also expressed its disappointment with the decision as it said that the public had every right to be angry with government as its decision had not undertaken a meaningful public engagement process. Then AFRI Forum had said that it would not be tagging any of its um, company's vehicles and also encouraged the public to do the same, while Kasatu had also asked the public not to buy e-tags as they were not legally obliged to do so. Thank you. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.